one of my best mates from back home, Lawrence, ended up moving in with me, him and his girlfriend, which is bloody awesome. But what makes it even better is the fact that he's got a really nice little boat. So on this day, we decided to take the girls out for a snorkel because they were keen to try and have a bit of a dive and see some turtles. As soon as we started looking around, there was turtles everywhere. This one turtle in particular didn't seem to mind our company at all. It was just hanging around even after I gave it a tentative little pat, it just hung around us and wasn't afraid at all. So I told the girls they could probably try and give it a pat. It was a bit tricky with no weight belts, but they both got it in the end. I didn't realise, but there was a red rock cod sitting right at the front of that hole there. I pointed out the hole to Laurie because there was two nice crays in it, but didn't realise there was a red rock cod. You can see it swim out on his right as he goes in. They have an incredibly poisonous spine, which is super painful, so it's lucky he didn't get jabbed by that one. After checking out all these cool different fish for a while and this cute little octopus hiding in his crack, we decided to head out for Laurie's first spearfishing trip out on the Gold Coast. Here we go, about to jump in for the first dive with Lawrence and the Goldie. You two? Yeah. <laughs> Crystal clear. All right, head back out this way, Louise. The way we came. Unfortunately, the GoPro died the other day when we were out with the girls, but we're back out here for a quick arvo session after Laurie and Logan finished work. We're getting ready. As soon as we started drifting, things got super crazy. Cobia? As Lawrence made his first dive down, I noticed a big bull ray and then actually a bull shark, so I started filming. I heard his gun go off and instantly thought, oh my goodness, did he just get his first cobia? It turns out he did. I dove down to have a look at the shot to see if it needed a second shot. The shot was alright, but I tried anyway and missed like a complete kook. Thankfully, Cobia have super tough skin and it's really hard to tear out. Plus, it was a pretty decent holding shot anyway. So, Lawrence got it up and landed his first ever Cobia. A little while later, Laurie got a nice Moses perch, and then I had a drop where I saw a school of jobfish. So pretty much, I dropped down, 
was making my way down and noticed a big school of barracuda cruising all around me. It was epic vision. Unfortunately, you can't quite see it because the GoPro is facing down. But then, a school of jobfish cruised in from the left-hand side. see the first of the jobbies cruising in on the top left of the screen. I didn't see them for a couple of seconds, then turned to take a shot, but realised the clip attaching my float bungee to my gun was in my hand. This made it for a really tricky shot, but I tried and I hit it, but unfortunately it tore out pretty quickly. When I hit the surface after that drop, the sun was literally setting behind the mountains. So we took a couple of photos of the cobia and then it was time to head in before it got dark. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and hopefully I'll get out there and get a couple more up here for you soon.